Good evening and welcome to this tutorial video. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at how to conduct a panel stationarity or unit truth test. But before we do that, I'd like us to know when panel stationarity test is necessary and when it is not necessary. Uh, when you have a large N, by N I mean uh, a large number of cross section and you have a small T. By small T, I mean a time frame or year that is less than 25 years. Then, uh, Stationarity test might not be necessary because then it is assumed that there is stationarity and homogeneity in the model. And that is why when you are estimating using system GMM or difference GMM, you are not really concerned about conducting the stationarity test. The time is considered uh, it's considered too short to worry about non-stationarity in the uh, in the model. But then when you n is large and your time is your, your t your time frame or yet is large okay let's say 25 years and above then there might be need there might be concern for all uh, um homogeneity and non-stationarity uh possibility of non-stationarity in the model okay these concerns were raised by Passeren and shin batagi and philip and more you can check that up in that so that is why you need to it's necessary for you to conduct your neutral test that is when your data uh, has a relatively uh, large t you know, when your time frame or year is greater than 25 years so let's go to conduct uh, conducting the test proper uh this video will be strictly looking at the menu driven approach no no code so that you can follow gradually uh you click on statistics and you come to longitudinal panel data and now you come down here you see you need to test you click on it so first of all you need to declare your uh your data as panel so you come to panel setting here you click here and then you come in cross id that's my own panel id by the construct of my data uh click on time variable here and uh, click on here okay I click on okay panel data is set like that ah uh, uh, at your left here here left corner here contain uh, various test uh you need to test uh uh, uh criteria you have a uh, llc arizon zavilis brutong i i am pss no you can find it fisher fisher hadri and the likes like that so you pick the one you want let's say you pick a uh, llc and then you click on the variable let's say we are picking on uh gdp per capita gdp pc and uh so if you have any reason to include trend or suppress panel specific mean okay you could click on that and then uh let's consider one lag okay and then we click on okay and then we have our result so yeah the null hypothesis panel continue to test and the alternative is panel as stationary but we know the decision criteria you come here and look at the p-value when your p-value is less than 0 0.05 then we say we should reject the null hypothesis at five percent okay uh but here the p-value is greater way greater than 0 0.05 so we have to accept the null hypothesis so here we we'll accept that panel continue the truth and therefore panel is not stationary uh to here we accept the null hypothesis so yeah that is that but this is at level let's look at at first difference how it behaves come back to statistics and then longitudinal panel data and uh, you need to test here and then come down to the variable box here and write d dot that is false difference okay we want to test a false difference you click on okay okay we have our result you come here you see the null hypothesis the p value is zero 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 way less than 0 0.05 so here we can uh accept we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis that panel are stationary so for this variable gdp per capita it is stationary at first difference okay that is uh using uh levin liu and chu you could come and pick other uh test statistics uh longitudinal panel let's say this time we are looking at fisher let's 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 look at fisher fisher type and then 
let's look at GDP. What do we have? Okay. Look at Fisher. All panel contain unit root. At least one panel contain. At least one panel is stationary. That's the time I put it is. Look at the p value here. Fisher apparently does for all the panels together. Yeah, the p value are way more than 0 0.05. So, yeah, we can uh, accept null hypothesis. All panels are not stationary. Then we can come and look at it as far as difference. Come back to statistics. Longitudinal panel, unit root test, and then d dot that's our first difference then okay yeah so at first difference we find out that uh, we should uh, reject null hypothesis and uh, accept the alternative hypothesis that is for fisher okay uh so that is that about our uh, conducting panel stationary to test and when it is necessary to conduct panel stationary to test if this is the first time on, on this channel please uh app Hit on the subscribe button, like, share, drop a comment, and help, uh, help support this channel. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your watch. Before I go, I need to tell you that this uh, feature, these characteristics, uh, it's only available on Stata 15 and 16. I mean, the menu driven approach to conducting a uh, stationary to test. So, if you are using the uh, version below uh, 15, you might not have the you might not be able to assess the menu driven uh, way to conducting uh panel stationary to test thank you